Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today we're focusing on Taiwan, the land that we are in right now, and we're talking about one man. Uh, who led Taiwan's capital to find its own active volcano? So, of course, an active volcano is a volcano that could erupt very、mm. soon in the future. Did you know that there is an active volcano right here in Taipei City? That's incredible! I didn't know that. Well, now you do, and now I do too. I didn't know actually until I got this and read it, and I went, "Oh my goodness, who knew?" It just gets more and more exciting. I'm not really surprised because we have a lot of hot springs in Taiwan.、Mm, yep, and, it's a very,、yeah. uh, I guess, volcanically active、uh, right. place. It's on the Ring of Fire around the Pacific Ocean. We have earthquakes. We have everything fun in Taiwan. But we don't have big volcanic eruptions, or at least I've never seen one, like、uh, Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines that erupted oh in the 90s at、yeah. some time. And、uh, every once in a while,、uh, a volcano erupts in Japan, but It doesn't seem to happen here in Taiwan so much, and today we're going to talk about the director of the Taiwan Volcano Observatory, Lin Junghong, and、uh, he's、uh, he has written a paper warning of the possibility that hey, this the Datun Volcano Group、okay. uh, is still active and it might erupt someday. So let's find out what this is all about, everybody. Let's read through the entire contents of our lesson, and we'll come back to talk about it. It was previously believed that the Datun Volcano Group, located in Yangmingshan National Park, was inactive. For decades, the area's geothermic activity was thought to be little more than an attraction for visitors to the mountainous area just outside Taipei. However, it's now accepted that there's an active magma chamber beneath Datun. Back in 2016. The director of the Taiwan Volcano Observatory, Lin Junghong, published a paper warning of the possibility that the volcano group was still active. Lin's paper demonstrated the existence of a magma chamber, a requirement for a volcano to be active. Lin had become particularly fascinated by the Datun Volcano Group after studies detailing some unusual findings had emerged. Around two decades prior, researchers had reported discovering quantities of helium-3. The presence of large amounts of this gas often indicates volcanic activity. Then, in 2003, Lin put together a study that involved placing sophisticated seismometers across Yangmingshan National Park. The use of seismometers is common practice when scientists investigate a volcano's status. He was looking for proof of unusual seismic activity, which he acquired. Tremors can produce different waveforms, but Lin wanted to document two in particular: primary P and shear S waves. These waves can be used to detect areas of liquid, such as a magma chamber below Earth's surface. This is because liquids block S waves and slow down P waves. A large number of seismic waves with strange patterns were detected across Datun. Results showed that the P waves were delayed and the S waves simply weren't present, which might be expected with the presence of a magma chamber. Lin sent the recordings to scientists in Japan, who assessed them and confirmed that they indicated an active volcano. Let's get started, guys. This is a unit about Taiwan, and about a Taiwanese scientist who actually found that Taiwan has its own active volcano. If it's an active volcano, it has the possibility of erupting and having that hot lava, which is the the melted rocks, come out、um, and turn into ash once it goes through the top of the volcano. So, what's a volcano? It's a mountain or a hill, and it usually has a kind of a cup-like crater at the very top, and it's formed around、uh, a vent or an area, and that's where the ash. Is expelled or erupts from that particular hole in the mountain. 
So that's a volcano. Now, some of them are inactive volcanoes, meaning they're not going to erupt in the near future. We are surrounded, actually, in this area of Asia. By countries that have active volcanoes like Japan and the Philippines,、um, I always felt like we were fairly safe.、Uh, we wouldn't have any volcanoes erupting in Taiwan, but it turns out I was wrong. Indeed, and、uh, this is kind of、uh, shocking news, I、yeah. suppose, that there is an active volcano right next to Taiwan's largest city.、Uh, what would happen if Yamingshan suddenly blew its top?、Yeah. What if Yamingshan erupted? What would we do then? Would people all scream and shout and go down to Taichung and look for apartments down there? <laughs> Who knows? But in any case,、uh, day one here、uh, begins by saying it was previously believed that the Datuan Volcano Group. Located in Yamingshan National Park, was inactive, and for decades the area's geothermic activity was thought to be little more than an attraction for visitors to the mountainous area just outside Taipei. So there is some geothermic activity, which means basically heat、mm-hmm. coming from the ground in the form of hot springs or sulfur.、Uh, there are some places where you can see hot sulfur up in Beito there. And yes, indeed,、uh, that's kind of interesting. People are interested in seeing such things. It's kind of similar to Yellowstone National Park in the U.S.,、mm-hmm. where they ha- where they have all those hot pools,、yeah. which、uh, are the result of、uh, volcanic activity, or in this case, geothermic.、Uh, geo just means the land, the earth, and thermic、uh, means warm. So yeah, basically, heat coming from below. Right. So, if something's mountainous, all it means is it、uh, has a lot of mountains in the area.、Uh, I would always describe Taiwan as being very mountainous.、Uh, sometimes it's hard to go from one side of the island to the next because you're going to have to go through or around lots of mountains. It also makes it beautiful, though. Those mountains are lovely. However, it says it's now accepted. People have all said, "Okay, yeah, we understand.、Uh, we have an active volcano、uh, because there's an active magma chamber beneath Datuan." Now, I have to confess, I did not know what magma meant, but Tom did, and he told me it just means molten or or liquid rock.、Mm. So, a chamber is just a space. So there's a space with a lot of liquid rock that they've found or discovered beneath Datuan. Yep, there's kind of like a tank there that's full of liquid rock, and most people thought that there was just a bunch of rock underneath Yamingshan,、mm. and that it was no problem. But uh, someone uh, figured out that there's actually a magma chamber that is active underneath Datuanshan. And、uh, yes, Yamingshan is basically where Datuanshan is. There's also Qixingshan or something like that.、Uh, I've had trouble with this because uh, uh, there's the word Yamingshan. It's like, well, which one of those、uh, is actually Yamingshan? Well,、right. Yamingshan is actually a range.、Uh, the individual mountains are Datuanshan and、uh, Qixingshan、uh, and other mountains up there. But、uh, we're talking about the Datuan Volcano Group, and underneath Datuanshan, supposedly, there is an Active magma chamber. Hopefully, it will stay that way and won't cause any trouble. Now, way back in 2016, which is about what six years ago, the director of the Taiwan Volcano Observatory, Lin Junghong, published a paper warning of the possibility that the volcano group was still active. So we've got Mr. Lin Junghong, and he's the director of the Taiwan Volcano. Observatory. An observatory is some kind of scientific you know, installation or facility that observes something. When I see the word observatory, I usually think of a big telescope,、mm-hmm. like、uh, the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. They've got a big telescope there, and you can go there and look at stars and planets and stuff like that because they have a big telescope. But I guess you can have a different kind of observatory if you're looking at volcanoes. I guess you can. I always thought that ob- 
observatories were just for、um, you know astronomers and people looking up into the space and outer space. Again, a place that had a really great telescope and you'd look up at the planets and stars. Well, we've got a Taiwan vol- volcano observatory. We probably need one if we have an active volcano. So, Mr. Lean、uh, published a paper, probably a research paper, warning of the possibility. That the volcano group was still active, so it sounded like he first published a paper where he wasn't saying、um, definitively or for sure that it was active, but he said, "Hmm,、uh, there is a good possibility that that volcano group is still active." His paper demonstrated the existence of a magma chamber, and right here it tells tells us all why that's so important. If you Have a magma chamber. You have a requirement that's needed to say that a volcano is active and is not inactive. So, yeah, he probably published his paper, and like most scientists, he waited to get other scientists to weigh in or share their opinion on what that paper revealed and what they understood from it. Exactly. So, how do you figure out if there's a magma chamber underground? Because you can't really see through the ground.、Uh, you can't dig down and look for it because there's just too much stuff to dig away. No. There are ways they do this, and we're going to find out what those ways are in just a couple of seconds. But right now, we're going to take a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. 听众朋友，大家好，我是安娜。我们今天要来谈谈台湾的大屯火山群。大屯火山群居然在前几年被媒体爆出，它是活火,火山，它可能会爆发，吓死人了！到底发生什么事？因为我们本来以为这个大屯火山群根本就不是活火,火山，怎么可能会爆发嘛？多少人住在这个阳明山的这个这个山脚下，吓死人了！好，我们来看一下第一段，就告诉我们，本来过去我们觉得大屯火山群根本就不是活火,火山，而且好几十年来，虽然有一些什么蒸汽活动啊、地热活动，可能就是我们大家很喜欢去看而已。就这样，但是其实根据证据研究显示，大屯火山下面真的有一个很活跃的岩浆库哦。好，我们来看一下第一段。第一段当中啊，请注意第一句跟第三句，它有同样的句型，它都是虚主词的句型，虚主词的 it。真主词都是从后面的 that 一直到句尾的地方，可是他们两个句型也都一样哦。他们的动词都是被动，而且是由被动表示客观的一种说法。所以第一段的第一句是 It was previously believed that， 这之前大同火山大家都相信，被动表示客观嘛。那么第三句，第三句我们看到。It's now accepted that. 现在呢，则是大家都接受如何如何。那么，既然大屯火山下面有活跃的岩浆库，就有表示有可能它真的会爆发。到底是发生什么事呢？其实要回到六年前，当时在二零一六年的时候，大屯火山站的这个观测站的主任林正宏先生。这个主任呢发表了一篇论文，这个、论文就警告说，大屯火山群可能还很活跃哦，很 active 哦。active 的意思就是说它可能会爆发。所以，我们这时候呢也来补充一下，如果我们说活火,火山，就表示活跃的火山用 active volcano。啊，如果说以前曾经爆发过，现在也没有火山活动啦。已经休了，已经休眠了，就是所谓的这个休火山。现在呢，不太可能会爆发，短时间之内了哈。这个我们通常会用 dormant volcano 休火山 ，d o r m a n t dormant volcano。那如果是完全都不可能会爆发，那我们叫做死火山，形容词则会用 extinct e x。T I N C T， 这个叫做死火山。不过回到重点，第二段呢，这个第一句我们要特别注意一下，因为这里啊有一个简化的关系子句，然后还有一个 that 是等号概念的这一个补语的句型。首先呢，这篇 paper a paper 这里可以先把它划线起来，它是先行词，后面的 warning。一直到句尾，我们先用小括号哦，左右括号。这里的 warning 呢，本来应该还原是 which warned。这篇 paper 有警告一件事，什么事呢 ？The possibility 有一个可能性。那这个可能性什么呢？请把 possibility 后面的 that 一直到句尾用一个中括号。这个中括号的一个概念就是一个名词子句完整的，它就是一个等号的概念。这个可能性就是等于火山还是很活跃，可能会爆发。
，所以呢，基本上。当时的论文就已经证明有岩浆库的一个存在，那它就是活火,火山活药的一种条件。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about. How Taiwan has its own active volcano. This、uh, accepted knowledge is pretty pretty recent, really.、Uh, we're going back in time,、uh, back to 2016, when the director of the Taiwan Volcano Observatory, whose name is Lin Zheng Hong, he published a paper, and in his paper he warned of the possibility. That the volcano group there in Yangmingshan area in the national park, that there was a volcano group that was still active. So Lane's paper demonstrated or showed showed something to be true. He demonstrated the existence of a magma chamber, which is a contained area, of course, if it's in a mountain that has molten rock or a liquid rock there, which means hmm,、uh, this volcano. Is active. That's one of the requirements to say that a volcano is active. Now, Lin had become particularly fascinated by the Datuan Volcano Group after studies detailing some unusual findings had emerged around two decades prior or two decades before. So he checked out this research, and there were some interesting findings、uh, from this research that took place about 20 years ago. And findings, of course, are results of a survey,、uh, and what you found based. When you did some research, and、uh, he was interested in those findings. Hmm, he thought that might mean something. And these findings emerged about 20 years ago. To emerge just means they appear usually from a place that's hidden. And yes, someone did some、uh, research on the mountain. Maybe they sent some waves into the ground, and they came up with some numbers and some figures. Uh, that uh, nobody really noticed then, I guess. But、uh, here, Mr. Lin noticed them. I should say, Doctor Lin. He's probably a PhD. He's probably a PhD. Yeah. yeah I was gonna say. So uh, he uh, probably uh, took a look at these, took a second look, and thought, "Hmm, we should be concerned about this." I think this、uh, tells us that there's more than meets the eye regarding Datuan Shan. Yeah. If something is there, and you say more than meets the eye, something more than meets the eye, it means there's some things that you can't. Observe right now that you still need to dig and、uh, do some research, or maybe uncover or reveal or unveil something、uh, that's kind of been hidden. So he became particularly fascinated, really interested by the Datuan Volcano Group、um, because he found those unusual findings、um, that had emerged around two decades prior. So twenty years ago, he was seeing that, huh? There were some unusual findings. Twenty、uh, years ago, prior just means before, before something else. Right. So we're talking about Lin Junghong and what he did before, and we're also talking about an activity that took place in the past before、mm. Dr. Lin did some stuff. Right. Stuff. So we're using the past perfect here. Researchers had reported discovering. Quantities of helium three. That is an isotope of helium. Uh, helium uh, is the second element on the table of elements. It's got two protons.、Uh, helium three has two protons and one neutron. And a scientist, of course, think there's a lot of helium three on the surface of the moon,、mm. and that could be very useful for nuclear fusion in the future. But、uh, helium three also exists. In certain quantities,、uh, in this particular case, in Datuan Shan, and the presence of large amounts of this gas, helium three, often indicates volcanic activity. So helium three again、uh, indicates that there's some volcanic activity going on, and maybe that's what Dr. Lin was interested in. Hmm, they found helium three. Yeah.、Uh, that's kind of the smoking gun <laughs> for volcanic activity. We should look into this 
further. Yeah, if someone talks about a smoking gun, especially in a criminal、uh, criminal trial or case,、um, or maybe you're reading the newspaper and they said, "Ah, this is a smoking gun." It's a piece of evidence that leads people to believe a certain way. It's kind of the big. Piece of evidence that was discovered. So the fact that it had all of this helium three、uh, led to this idea that ooh, this often indicates volcanic volcanic activity. So then, in two thousand three, Lin put together a study that involved placing sophisticated seismometers across Yangmingshan National Park. A seismometer is a piece of equipment. It's actually a seismograph, and they they measure the direction, the intensity, the duration of earthquakes by measuring the actual movement of the ground. So you can imagine Taiwan has plenty of these around since we have so many earthquakes. So the use of Seism、uh, seismometers, and we say it seismometers, is a common practice when scientists investigate whether a volcano is active or inactive or its status. He was looking for proof of unusual seismic activity, which he required or which he acquired. So it says here in this sentence, he was looking for proof by checking the seismometers and any seismic activity. And that was something that he acquired. He was able to get his hands on that proof that he needed. He acquired it. You can acquire different things. You can acquire property from、uh, family members who pass it down to you, or maybe pass away and then.、Uh, Leave their home to you. That you acquire their property. You can acquire a good education at a college. Here he acquired that proof he was looking for. He got that information using those seismometers, which detect earthquakes. And of course, you need to place different ones in different locations、mm. to figure out the source of an earthquake. For example, that's why they always tell you, "Oh yes, the earthquake was centered twenty、uh, kilometers below the surface,、yeah. uh, straight west of Hualien or straight east of Hualien." That's because they have seismometers placed in different places, and yes, indeed, he acquired that information. And tremors or vibrations as the result of earthquakes, they can produce different wave forms. So tremors or vibrations from the earth have different forms of waves. But Lin wanted to document two in particular: primary and shear waves, or P and S, to be specific. Now, if you document something, that means you have evidence for this thing, and you write that information down, or you take a picture of it, or you get a video of it, or you get some kind of evidence that you collect and you can show it to other people. So you record it, you report it.、Uh, it could be reported on TV in a research paper, but it supports some sort of evidence、um, that you say exists. So he needed to document two or、uh, two in particular those P and S waves. I've heard of those briefly when I was reading about earthquakes. These waves can be used to detect areas of liquid. Remember, we're looking for that magma chamber or that area inside the mountain that has the liquid rock, and that's what he was able to detect. If you detect something, it just means you use some sort of equipment to see that something exists there.、Um, maybe your doctor wanted you to get some X-rays, and the X-rays detected some cancer inside you. So to detect means to discover the existence of something or to find. Out the true character or activity of something,、uh, so he was able to detect those magma chambers using the waves, the P and S waves. And they behave differently depending on how they vibrate.、Uh, liquids will block S waves, and they will slow down P waves. Okay,、mm. so they move at different speeds depending on whether there's some kind of liquid down there. And a large number of seismic waves with strange patterns were detected across Dot One, and results showed that the P waves were、mm. delayed, and the S waves simply weren't present. Which might be expected with the presence of a magma chamber. We、mm -hmm. have to take his word for it that he knew what he's talking about when he had these readings or these findings. And basically,、uh, he suspects that there's a magma chamber underneath Datuan Shan、uh, because of the readings that came from these waves. Right. So what did he do? He sent his uh, uh, documented recordings to scientists in Japan. 
Japan has active volcanoes, and those scientists then assessed them and confirmed that he was correct that there was indeed an active volcano in the Datuan voc- volcano group. So we have、uh, Dr. Lin's proof. We also have、uh, scientists in Japan who actually said, "Yes, you're correct. We confirm your findings." So. We'll have to wait and see what this leads to, or maybe it's just an active volcano that will cause us no trouble at all. Hopefully, that will be the case, but you never know. I know. You never know. I know. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Let's listen now to our Chinese teacher. 那原来啊，其实这个林主任呢，他差不多在二十年前呢、啊，他当时就有研究一些很详细记载不同寻常调查结果的一些 studies。他就对于大屯火山呐、啊。非常的着迷，因为当时呢，他看到这些研究当中啊，里面都回报有发现大量的氦三这种气体。好，我们看一下第三段的第一句，第一句这个地方也有一个简化之后的关系子句，先行词是 studies， 后面的 detailing 到句尾可以左右挂号。那么在这里的 detail 当动词，原本还原的话应该是关系关带的这个 which 或者是 that。跟动词的 detail 的，就是详细说明了。那既然有这样子的氦三的这种呃气体呢，通常就 indicate 的就表示说有火山活动，就是火山会爆发的意思。那接着隔年二零零三年呢，那主任他就设计了一套研究，也就是放了很多的地震仪，然后就可以去测说到底会不会有可能会火山的爆发。第三段的第四句这个地方，我们也特别注意一下，也有限定用法的关系子句哦。先行词是。A study, 一个研究 that 到句尾就是限定用法，限定这个研究是什么研究呢？就是放了很多精密地震仪的一个研究。那当时呢，很多的科学家调查火山就会放地震仪嘛，就会有一些地震活动的证据啊。而且他当时也找到他要的资料了。同样在第三段的第六句这个地方，我们看到一个补充说明的关系子句，先行词。是 proof of unusual seismic activity， 也就是不寻常地震活动的证据。逗点之后 ，which 到句尾可以左右挂号。这个 which 就是他所找到的证明。他后来也 acquired， 也得到了。那后来呢？到底是发生什么样的事情？那后来因为他也找到了这些证据，证据是一个什么样的情况呢？其实地震的时候就会产生 P 波跟 S 波。如果在火山地区有岩浆的地方，有岩浆，这个岩浆液呢会阻挡 S 波，然后 P 波就会变慢。也就是说，主任他到底找到什么？他的研究结果就显示 ，P 波已经被延迟，然后根本就没有出现 S 波，这是一个不寻常的地震波。也就是说，这个研究的结果就是真的有。所谓的 magma chamber 有岩浆库的存在，既然有岩浆库，然后呢又有这个这个所谓的大屯火山，那也就是说大屯火山底下有岩浆库的话，它就是一个 active， 它就是一个可能会爆发的火山哦。好，我们看一下最后面第四段第二句这个地方，逗点之后有一个 which 到句尾补充说明的关系子句，可是这里的 which 并不是前面那一个字，而是逗点前面从。That 之后一直到 present 的这两个子句，我们看一下整句话哦。第二句讲到结果显示出这个结果，什么结果？就是从 that 到 present， p 波被延迟， s 波根本就没有出现逗点 which 这样的状况就被预期是有岩浆库的存在，所以林主任就把这些研究记录都寄到日本给科学家，请他们的评估，并且确认。的确是有活火,火山，所以大屯山是真的会爆发吗？我是安娜，我们明天才会知道答案。That's all for today, but we're going to be talking about volcanoes in our next program, specifically the Datuan Volcano Group on Yamingshan here in Taipei, and、uh, of course that's the result of the findings of Lin Junghong、uh, in 2016 when he published a paper about this particular situation. So please join us then when we continue our discussion. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.